Welcome to America Reads Fun and Easy Learning Activities, where college students work together to create learning activities that are fun and effective for kids. Today's standard is understand division as an unknown factor problem. And I, Viridiana Rodriguez, will be walking you through this activity. So when it comes to connecting multiplication and division, um, it gets really simple. Uh, if you prefer multiplying over dividing, then we can um, choose which one we want to work with. So for example here, we have 32 divided by eight. So let's say you just don't like dividing, right? And you just prefer multiplying. And you're, if you're good at multiplying, well then there's more power to you. So what we're gonna do when we have a problem like this and you don't want to divide, we're going to do eight times what equals 32. Now, if you're good at multiplication and you can figure, um, and you know your multiples, eight, you would know that 8 times 4 equals 32. So then when we find this number, we basically get the answer to this equation right here. So then that would mean that 32 divided by 8 equals 4. So by finding a missing, so whenever you have an equation like this, you can go ahead and sort of multiply this number that you have here and this number that you have here and then you would get this number but in order to do that you have to be really really good at multiplying and then you can find what number do we have to multiply 8 by to get 32 which in this case would be 4 and then you would find the answer to your division problem so 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. So here we have our second problem. This is supposed to be a question mark. It looked kind of funky. Um, so now we have to find what do we have to divide 25 by to get 5. So again, you can multiply this number and multiply this number to get this number. So we have to find this number, but instead of using division, we are going to use multiplication. So then we would write it out as 5 times what? equals 25. Again, if you're really good at multiplication, you can just go ahead and find that five times five equals 25. So then this missing number that you found there, you can plug it into your division problem. So then it would look like 25 divided by five gives you five. And that's how you would find the missing number to your division problem. Okay, so now for this problem, we're working with a slightly bigger number. And again, we have a missing number here. But we have what this number and this number is supposed to equal to. So instead of solving it using division, we're going to go ahead and use multiplication to find the missing number and this division problem. So. We're going to multiply 20 by the missing number. So 20 times missing number equals 100 because this is what, um, this is the big number that they gave us. This is a missing number. And this is a number that we're going to use to find the missing number. It's always easier to use the smaller number given to solve the missing number when multiplying. Just makes it easier when using smaller numbers than working with bigger numbers. So, again, if you're really good at multiplying, you can go ahead and count by 20s and find what can we multiply 20 by to get 100. So that would look like 20 times 5 equals 100. So here's our missing number that we had to find. And then we can go ahead and plug that into our division problem where it was missing. So let's 
take that back home where it belongs. So 10 divided by five equals 220. And that would give you your missing number. Thank you for learning with me today. Please comment if you have any questions, like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll be back with tons of new fun activities.